Are there more opportunities on the way for Chicago Bulls' Kobe White? C-Dub is with me today. And Jeff Van Gundy, to end the show, said that MJ can average 40 in today's NBA. Y'all know we got to talk about it. But you know, you got to hear the music first. Come on, yeah. Gang. Shy Bulls Podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I am with my dog, C-Dub. How you doing, Bob? Man, it's been a battle, but I'm back. Let's get it. Hey, he had the cooties, but it's all right. <laughs> if you're tuning in with us today, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. C-Dub, the last time we seen the Chicago Bulls, we seen Kobe White attempt to go ahead jumper uh and he missed it <laughs> and head coach billy donovan came out and they talked about those opportunities for kobe white me personally i was happy to see kobe white get the last uh second shot to see what can happen with that didn't make the shot but i was happy that he had the opportunity so billy donovan came out and said for our team damar has been great he's an unbelievable closer but there are going to be times they are going to double team him trap him there are times they put a lot of length and size on him may deny him and prevent him from getting the ball we're going to have to have guys who step up in different in different moments i've got a lot of confidence and belief in kobe and i think he needs to be in those moments c dub are there more opportunities on the way for kobe white um of course it is (laughs) i mean this i mean this stuff should have been happening for kobe white has he been watching the same Chicago Bulls team that we all have been watching? Who has been the best player on the Chicago Bulls, nephew, for the last, bleh, for the first half of the season? Who would have been the best best player? I mean, the, you can give it to him. Kobe White. And, and, and then I just got to get to some of the comments, like he's getting double teamed. He's getting a lot of length. This has been happening for two years, Billy Donovan. It's been happening for two, two, for two years. And you run the same damn plays each and every time. We know the plays before they go down. And so does the opposing professional basketball players that all they do is sit home and watch basketball. And put a, a, a strategy against you. So that if they know you're going to DeMar DeRozan all the time, what are they going to do? They're going to be tr- strategic, strategic, excuse me. And every last uh, closing moment of the game is going to DeMar. Everybody on his ass. Get on his ass. But I seen him the last game. He gave Kobe uh, a little three. I didn't think he really had a chance on the shot. I think it was 0.5 seconds or something like that. I don't know how long. It was a really hard shot for him to make. He damn near hit it, though. Damn near hit it. He shot it from 30, and he had a hand in his face. Yeah, you got to give us. Oh, go ahead. No, no. What you going to say? Oh, I was going to say, yeah, I think that you definitely got to talk about the opportunities that's going to tell you to come for them. It's something that we've been asking for some time now. I think that everybody, I think this just to have, this should have been in place seasons ago, just like you yeah. said, with other guys receiving opportunities. I believe that when, when, when Zach was there, hey, he should have received some opportunities during, you know, those help those, some parts of those seasons. But he didn't. And then we seen when DeMar got hurt last season and Zach Levine had to close the game. He couldn't. He's supposed to take a three. He went to take a two. Stuff <laughs> like that. So that was funny. Um, you got to be able to have your guys ready. And I think that you got to draw things up. If it's got to be I.O. one night, you got to allow it. You got to allow it to happen. If it got to be Kobe, if it got to be DeMar, you got to allow it to happen. Just don't pit Nikola Vucevic at the three-point line and say, go shoot, because it ain't changing this year and it shouldn't happen. But... <laughs> <laughs> if you get the other guys, you should be fine. But I do got to I do want to play devil's advocate real quick. Yo. C Dub, I ain't never heard Billy Donovan say we need to give Zach Levine those opportunities. Have you never? No, I know why not. Because what does that say? I, he don't have the IQ to to try to make a, a winning shot. I, <laughs> I I trust Billy Don. I love Zach, but Billy's right. The motherfucker. <laughs> we needed a three. He ran up and shot a mid range two. The funniest shit ever. We forget that. <laughs> 
<laughs> so he's out. But in a perfect, in a perfect world, nephew, you won't ever want to just lean on one player. Not even just want to lean on Kobe White. You want have everybody that can be out there and make a play. Right. It wasn't just Michael Jordan all the time. Most of the time, but you had John Paxson out there make a good shot, uh, winning shots. You had Steve Kerr out there making shots. Scotty Pippen actually made some shots yep. at times. Uh, Horace Grant as well. So you want to be, you want to be able to look to anybody that's on that basketball floor to make a play for you. That's how it should go. Don't be just forced to feeding the damn ball to Demar Derozan in the same damn play we see every single effing game, bro. I, will, I agree with you on that. I think the Bulls should be more well-rounded, and they should look to more of those opportunities for sure because, again, bro, a lot of the times, like, you, your guy ain't going to be able to hit them shots. Or your guy yeah. might be having a bad game. But yeah. if one of your other guys is having a good game, hey, and they've they, they, they been hot from the clip from the three. Let's just say Ayo Dosumo in one of the games, he's able to hit clutch buckets. Because mm -hmm. you kept them involved for the entire game. And I think too many times we see the Chicago Bulls, they have players that do well for the first three quarters, and then when the game get tight, they stop moving the ball. They start de depending on uh, DeMar DeRozan a lot. And you see, you see games to where Kobe White is saying, go ahead, DeMar, go ahead, go ahead. No. I, I feel no. like at some point everybody needs to have the correct feel of the game. And including the coach and telling guys, hey, find the right guys, trust your teammates. That's what it should really come down to. So we'll see what Kobe White is able to do with those opportunities that's coming. And I'm going to need Kobe White to stop saying what you just said. Yep. I need him to stop saying, hey, go ahead, DeMar. No, nah, shut the hell up. Keep the ball. This is your team, young fella. Go and take. You know, it ain't even this team yet. Go and take the team, Kobe White. If anybody is well suited to take over this team, Kobe is you. But I'm not going to give it to you right now because you keep deferring to DeMar. And this ain't no disrespect to DeMar because he's, right. awesome, he's an awesome player, probably a Hall of Famer. He's a, a scoring professional. You know, I'm not a good fit. You know, that's yeah. like DeMar. You know what I mean? But, Kobe, you got to be a man, bro. You, you, you took a long step. You went far. Your game has took a... Man, it is elevated a lot, bro. You still got steps to go. Move your ass out the way, Demar. It's my time. Go spot up in the corner. That's what you're gonna tell him. Move. Facts. Depending on what happens, just don't get Nikola Vucevic no threes, <laughs> bro. It's, it's, what? <laughs> ah! yeah, but y'all, <laughs> bro. But y'all, let us know down below how you feeling about those opportunities. Y'all think Kobe White gonna be able to get it done? Let us know down below. Now, C Dub, we gotta talk about MJ. Who many, many people believe he's the GOAT? Hey, <laughs> Jeff Van Gundy said <laughs> that Michael Jordan can average 40 in today's NBA. What do you say? No shit. Are you mean to tell me a guy like James Harden uh, can average 37 points? You mean to tell me a guy like uh, Joel B can average 35 points in this day and age with all the rules uh, pointed towards offense in this league today. You cannot hand check Michael Jordan. It's basically going to be a one on one on Michael Jordan everywhere you go. Open court, spread out floor. Are you crazy? Michael Jordan is going to learn how to shoot a three point shot because that's what he's going to have to learn to do. And I don't think he has to learn much because if he puts his mind to it, he's going to lock it down. Ain't like he ain't had a lot of, uh, like you remember the seven three pointers in the first half against the Blazers, you know he could go crazy from the three point line. So for forty, I'ma go over. Micah Kill, he a break records in this day and age. It shouldn't be no debate, nephew. And you better man your manners, young fella. <laughs> you better be cool, young fella. Don't you dare disrespect Mike right now. <laughs> Don't you do it. I'll you give it to him. Hey, if, if James Harden and Joel Embiid could average 35, I believe he's very, very capable of averaging 40. I think it's possible. Nice. The only <laughs> thing I got a problem with that is what is that going to result in? With, with today's NBA, with today's pace, he's still going to be winning those championships like that? Yes. What do you mean? He's still going to be the best perimeter defender on the – on the court 
and he's going to be the best scorer on the court, the best killer on the court, the best situational awareness, aware player on the court. He's the best everything on the court. What are you talking about? The best player wins. Simple as that. Mike. The best team wins. So if he going to think that he going to be coming out, he think he going to be coming out trying to average 40 at a high usage. We didn't see guys well down. With such a, he's gonna to average forty. His usage rate is gonna be extremely high, bro. What is Michael Jordan's usage rate all time? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Is you just trying to troll me or something? <laughs> Since, bro, talk about some usage rate. He got probably the highest usage rate ever. What is you talking about? <laughs> we'll right. give it to him, though. We're not so good. Come on, Joe. Cause you <laughs> he's trying to sneak this, Mike. Y'all ain't paying ain't attention, sneak, bro. Mike, we trolling. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta have fun with this, for real. But I, it's no doubt that bro can average forty. But it's just always, you know, he's still gonna be great. I swear to God, I can't stand for it. real. He's still gonna Look be great. You what you say, bro? Uh, he gonna be the same, Mike, bro. Championship. You think he got a big question? Can he win a championship in this? Is age. That's what I'm saying. Of course, he With can win the championship. Same players. Oh, okay. Can, of course, he can win a championship. Okay, for sure. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, hey, but he ain't gonna. He ain't gonna be at a. Hey, is Dennis Rodman gonna be be good enough in today's NBA? That's a good question. But he With is the lack special. of offensive game. That's special. I think he could be a, a Draymond Green, a even better Draymond Green. You for like sure. that? You like that? Uh, uh, yeah, you can compare the two players together. I mean, yeah, everybody think like Dennis Rodman like can't score. Like he can put the ball in the basket in the paint, and he actually hit three pointers in his career, and he can shoot a little uh fifteen foot jumper or two at time after time. So, what do you think he averaged? He averaged a double double one time in his career. That means he can score a little bit. Yeah. So I wouldn't yeah. be too mad at it, but yeah. hey. That was a quick one. Y'all hey, y'all see me try to get see see the fired up. I got some of y'all fired up right now. Right now. <laughs> some of y'all fired up right now. Like this young man. No, no, wait. Uh, nah. yeah, man, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, y'all. We're gonna live and make we gonna make do. <laughs> oh, we gonna make do. But hey, C dub, you got anything before we ride out? Uh man, I'm back, man. Uh make sure y'all continue to tune in, man. Hey. It's going to be a long what they got until Wednesday to the next game. Make sure y'all tune in to the Thursday. I My so. goodness. I think it's Wednesday, but whatever. We'll see y'all tomorrow, the next daily. And you make sure y'all keep showing support and love. We appreciate y'all, bro. For sure. Before we get up out of here, I wanted to bring up that DeMar DeRozan started his mental health initiative called Dinners with DeMar. To me, I want to say, hey, if you're battling, you're going through something, Make sure you talk to try to find somebody that you can do, you know, trust, you know, whether that's the pastor or your preacher, your mama, your sister, your brother, a friend or, or go seek therapy. Don't be afraid to go seek therapy in times of need. You know what I'm saying? Me as a guy that was a former military, um, that is a military veteran. I know how mental health can be a, a serious thing to talk about. But I tell you this therapy helps if you do it the right way and if you find the people to support you the right way. So always remember that you do matter and that life matters for sure. But that's it from us. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Shy Boys Podcast. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. We're going to catch y'all on the next one for sure. Cognac. Gang.